Now, in a major bureaucratic reshuffle, senior IAS officer of the 1990 batch, Pankaj Jain, has been appointed as the new Union Petroleum Secretary. In other appointments approved today, 1987 batch IAS officer Vinny Mahajan, who till recently was Chief Secretary of Punjab, has been appointed as the Secretary of the Department of Drinking Water and Sanitation. Meanwhile, Gujarat Kadar Forest Service Officer Bharat Lal has been appointed as Secretary to the Lokpal. Five months after new regulations for the drone industry came into effect, the center is considering industry feedback to refine drone policy. As per sources, a meeting with officials of the ministries of Home, Civil Aviation and Niti Aayog is scheduled in the first week of January. My colleague Karishma, who is getting us these exclusive details, joining us now. Karishma, what are we expecting from this upcoming meeting? And are there any specific requests from the industry? Well, right, Abha, it was in August end that government had uh, released the final draft rules, and this was after a lot of consultations that were made. Uh, the draft rules that were out in June uh, were yet to be passed because of a lot of uh, uh, industry queries on that. And now it's the time that government is really serious about uh, uh, being becoming the drone manufacturing hub. And for this, the government is considering certain meetings. In fact, in January, there's going to be a meeting with uh, the Niti Aayog officials and Home Secretary in order to get some idea on how better could this be done. In fact, we're also picking up that Prime Minister could also inaugurate and launch uh, a drone movement uh, in uh, the end of uh, January. So this is uh, definitely going to make the whole concept of uh, drone ecosystem in India more simpler and uh, adaptable. What's also coming is the big question of when will uh, uh, drone delivery begin. So uh, probably in a month or so, this, there could be some update expected on uh, how the government is looking to also introduce drone delivery in terms of e-commerce. Okay. Thanks for that, Karishma. We'll keep an eye on that. Hero Enterprise Chairman Sunil Kant Munjal opens up about the Hero Group and its origins. He talks about the startup ecosystem in India and gives his view on funding instruments for new businesses. Listen in. In your experience, as we talk about startups and we have perhaps just about 50 unicorns uh, currently, uh, navigating from a controlled license Raj economy to a situation where uh, Indian companies and families learned to interface and work with uh, foreign partners who had access to larger amounts of capital and of course technology to a situation that prevails uh, now without taking names uh, we are now talking about uh, Indian education company that's uh, looking at uh, listing at a 48 billion dollar valuation so imagine uh, those numbers Sunil give us that sense of the span and arc of history in terms of business so actually you could have asked Sanjay this question because <laughs> Sanjay and his, his family have just done something similarly miraculous only recently uh, but you're right uh, startups as a concept is not new our company was a startup in, in, the, in the early 50s, as were many, many others, which are today standing established uh, organizations. Just the concept of startups based heavily on technology, mm. new knowledge, connectivity, and driven by e-commerce is a relatively new, com uh, a new concept. Also, the amount of innovation that's going into uh, the current ideation of the concept of these new startups, I think, is very creditable. Uh, but uh, I, I do, and I've said this actually multiple times, I don't think startups as a concept is new in India. It's been around for a long time. Uh, I do sometimes worry that our focus uh, becomes excessively only on a few and only those who have achieved valuations of billions of dollars. Uh, the startups are coming up in tens of thousands uh, across the nation and doing all kinds of amazing things. I'm, I'm actually very keenly interested. Uh, as Sanjay said, we are actually supporting many, many of them, especially those who are doing things which have a positive impact on society. How different is the access of capital now versus 30 years back when you were, uh, you know, perhaps getting your feet established in the business? Uh, certainly very different. It's not just that there is more access, there is more variety of funding instruments available. You can create many layers under which you can actually uh, take that. And some companies have done that. To an extent, 
it's beneficial but beyond a point i think it's very dangerous because it lulls you into a sense of comfort without realizing you take debt in entities which have no cash flows which don't have revenues and banks were by the way and banks and and nbfcs were happy to give that money uh, but at the end of the day you need a source for servicing and repayment so in our case if we do take we we by the way we don't never take debt but we hardly ever take that when we do take that we want to ensure even more than the banks giving us the money that we have the ability to not just service it but to pay it many times over